Prime Minister Stephen Harper, local Conservative MPs and supporters gathered at Triple G Farm in Waynefleet this morning, where the PM announced that if a majority Conservative government was formed on May 2nd, he would scrap the long gun registry once and for all. The Harper government's last attempt to get rid of the registry was defeated by two votes on the third reading in the House. Harper pointed out that Welland NDP MP Malcolm Allen flip-flopped on the issue. The Prime Minister is pushing for his Conservative candidate, Leanna Valala, who is running against Allen. Harper maintained that the Conservative Party has long been opposed to the long gun registry, saying it was wasteful spending and ineffective, targeting law-abiding citizens, particularly in rural areas and smaller communities. When asked whether the long gun registry is really an issue that will gain conservative votes in larger cities where the Harper government is hoping for more support, the PM insisted that it's a move they believe in. We have to take the position we believe is right. We have to run on it everywhere in the country, and we have to have the same story and the same policy in every part of the country. Harper was dogged by controversy this morning as well, being asked about Bruce Carson. The former top advisor to Stephen Harper is currently being investigated by the RCMP. According to the Canadian press, Carson was convicted on five counts of fraud and received a court-ordered psychiatric treatment before becoming one of Harper's closest advisors. When asked why Harper had hired him, the PM says he wouldn't have done so if he had known about Carson's criminal past and admitted it would be something that would have to be dealt with more effectively in the future. However, Carson maintains he was given security clearance to work in the PM's office after disclosing his criminal record back in 2006. After today's gathering at Triple G Farms, Harper got into his campaign bus and headed off to Picard's Peanuts in Font Hill, meeting with owner John Picard for a tour of the facility and picking up a few treats for the family. For NNTV, I'm Kim Rossi.